Hail and well met, weary travellers, and welcome back to the fireside. My microphone is unmuted, and it's time for another <laughs> chapter of the Polyhedron Plays <laughs> D&D. Tonight, we have the Champions of Chance, and we are myself, John Cage, as Zanhorn the Bard, Ben Hopper as Benjamin the Barbarian, Paul Ralph as Senza the Cleric, Rory Summers as Haval the Paladin, and last but certainly not least, our benevolent St DM Steve. So, Hello. Steve, if you would like to once again step into the torchlight and recount where we got to in our story. Right, I've got a guilty uh, confession to make here that uh, I may, didn't make notes after last session because oh. I quite literally finished the last session and tore this room down so guests could stay over Christmas. <laughs> so if I get this wrong, please correct me. So... In the last session, the previous session, you'd finished fighting off two fire giants who were attacking with a menagerie of orcs and axe beasts and fire little gremlin type things, the town of Tribor. You had mag you magically got sent one of the giants away uh, with a bit of persuasion from uh, our resident Asimar. And you actually managed to kill the other one as it retreated and killed all the giant's minions. Yeah, we did. Smashed you managed it. to pick... The giant walking away, you managed to kind of pickpocket it and take its uh, item, which it was carrying, which was this massive kind of tuning fork, which you identified as a rod of the Vodinod, which allowed you to find adamantium components. You then went back to the stable yard in the middle of Tribor to have a look at what the giants were digging up and found this massive adamantium ring, which you identified as being vaguely magical, but we're quite sure exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. You had a bit of interest from a couple of uh, local merchants seeing a large amount of adamantium being, well, quite possibly profitable, and you were offered some cash to take it off your hands there and then, which you were all decided to be stern businessmen and decided that this wasn't worth it. So, Astute. you... You de you took on a delivery job for one of the... One of the um, for the Lion Shield Costa... Uh, market and you uh, agreed to take some horse harnesses to no one else hold and you were given a uh, horse and cart in order to do this and so you loaded the adamantium onto the cart also at the same time um Senza did some uh, jiggery pokery magical inter inter interrogations of the dead body, basically, and you found some information about it. It was looking for a piece of the Vonin Dodd, which is a titan of death, a metallic, a metallic dragon slaying device. And you know that this is being built by Duke Zalto of the Fire Giants. Just to clarify, is it a metallic dragon slaying device or a metallic dragon slaying device? A metallic dragon slaying device. Right. <laughs> Basically, it's a big, ad it's a big adamantium thing because yeah. this is the metal component that goes into it. Mm -hmm. um, you know that they were heading back to the forges of Iron Slag, uh, but they didn't. Some of the other questions weren't answered. So you were also um, do -do 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 -do. you took on a few minor quests to get to pass information to different parts around town. Uh, load up your cart and we paid 100 gold pieces to get these um, harnesses to Nuna's hold. You headed to Yata and tried to convince the uh, kind of town lord of Yata to hold on to this and secure it uh, while you finished off some jobs and then looked into kind of negotiating selling it. You were offered a 60 40 deal. So the, the Yata officials would take 60% of the profits of the Terrible. sale. Don't shake Terrible your head, haggle. Haval. You should have seen how hard we had to haggle him down to that. <laughs> Her down. Yeah, sorry, yes, right. um, so um, you, I think the last thing that happened was Sensa went through the Zentrum portal back to Neverwinter to try and see if they could find out some information about uh, the Vonid Dodd uh, from the Halls of Knowledge. Whereas the, if I've got this right, the other three characters headed to the Wink and Kiss Tavern. That is exactly where we left it. Your, um, center to return. That Benjin thought was a brothel. <laughs> yeah, most disappointed to find out it was not. <laughs> 
So, uh, did I miss anything out? Of it? Are we, are we, is it all uh, correct according to your notes? The one bit you missed is that we contacted Felgalas, the bronze dragon again. Ah, uh-huh, yes. And he indicated that he is being held by Sansuri in Linarmal, which is the cloud uh, city. I'll say city. Cloud City that's floating, we think, somewhere around the Evermores, or at least that's where it was headed when it lasts, when it picks up the Nightstone. Uh, and he's in quite a lot of pain. So we're kind of, I think our rough plan was to try and head towards uh, Noanar, drop off the, the horse bits and pieces, and then head towards the Evermores and up towards Silvery Moon to uh, look for a dragon, sl- sorry, a giant slaying sword. Amongst other that things. was it. We got the we got that hot tip about a retired hero with a giant. So there was also something in Everland as well, wasn't there? There were two. There were two reasons to go to Everland for us. Mm. One was the sword. One was the. Um... You were asked to hand some information from the, the Lord of your, uh, Lord of Tribor yeah. to right. basically yeah. inform some associates of hers of what had been happening. That's the ticket. Thank you, Steve. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So we spoke okay. to Ergalar Mortimer at North Shield House, and she mm. was the one that had the experience with the giants. Yes, all right. So we're in a pub, are we? We are. So and, I uh, think we should do sensor first because sensor was, uh, as far as we remember, sensor was still in Neverwinter. I was. I was so, going back to the Halls of Knowledge. So had you got to the Halls of Knowledge? I can't remember. Um, I think we'd left it for eyes just bamfed over there. Okay. So, yes, you go through the Zentrin... Uh, Zentrin. Harper. Harper's yeah. portal. I was going to say Harim, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you make your way to the Halls of Knowledge. Um you so what's what's your plan when you get there um i had already spoken to the chief docent i think we were calling him to tell him we'd recovered this part of the vermin dodd so i'm going to go there and show him all the notes i've taken on it see if we've got anyone who's a specialist in giant or giant culture and do they know anything about Swiss, or can we find it out? Which I assume we can because you know, God of knowledge. Okay, um, why don't you? Why don't you make a history skill check? Okay. What? <laughs> Seem better for me. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you and the uh, the head of the halls of knowledge um, go through some of the uh, what paperwork you can find about uh, ancient giants. You find that the word is an an old. A Saurian word, which is the ancient um, kind of land of the giants, also the empire they ruled. Um, you can't find much because most of the documentation, kind of regarding what happened in Asoria, Astoria, sorry, is it predates most race of the races in Faerun. Um what information you can find is the giants kind of ruled this region of Faerun thousands and thousands of years ago before even the elves turned up. So getting anything specific about this is difficult, should we say. Um, You find some snippets you find some stories of a war against the dragons and the giants that lasted thousands of years as well, but it's nothing really concrete. And anything about this kind of Vonidod, this giant's lay, there's no mentions you can find about it. And the head of the house, the head of the house of knowledge, thinks that 
maybe this is just it just predates everything written they've got. Unacceptable. <laughs> he's he's most we find all the texts. He, he is most disappointed. You can tell he was he, he was hoping he'd find something, but uh, as he says, it's not something that's likely to have been written down in the lifetime of any of our gods. He basically says. Um, so what he does, he, he says if he, he tries to have a look for some if other information of what else he can find. Um, the basic thing you can find is there are lots of snippets of kind of like ancient um, kind of old like giant artifacts and things like that that kind of crop up in history. But they all tend to be... Um, much further in the north of the north of the Sword Coast. So, you know, it's kind of spine of the world seems to be the kind of place where most bits of information seem to be coming from, if that makes sense. Okay. So he says, basically, if you're going it, to... It's a needle in a haystack, but if you're going to find anything, keep heading north, basically. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's the plan. While I'm there, I would also like to pick up a few books because, of course, I do. <laughs> I would like to try and get a giant to common dictionary. Okay. A copy of Volo's Guide to Monsters. Right. A Sword Coast Adventures Guide. <laughs> and anything okay. I can find about giant culture. I wonder if Senza okay. realizes he's missed Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> So you've mentioned Christmas now, so you can hear someone getting excited in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we shall have presents in a minute. I want to come for you, John. <laughs> You're the one saying these things out loud, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so um, Volo's Guide would be pretty easy to get hold of. So... Um... <laughs> Uh, the uh, the the, um, the halls of knowledge uh, say, do you wish to just read these books while you're here, or do you, or, or do you wish to take with you? I'd quite like to take them with me. Mm, uh, they look a bit um, kind of worried about that, and kind of go, well, um, we unfortunately means you're going to have to buy a copy because, well, we we don't want to sound pessimistic, but we won't think you might not come back. <laughs> Based on what you're planning on doing. So four books at 25 gold pieces each. That's 100 gold pieces. <laughs> I four one of them. <laughs> um, Surely there's cleric of, uh, cleric of knowledge's rates, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Staff, <laughs> Staff discount card. Yeah. Um, can I wave a scroll of divination and say, <laughs> how about studying this in exchange? Um, yes, they will gladly take that in exchange if you so wish. Cool. So, for all four? Yeah. Cool. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, the age of Astoria is probably around about 30,000 years ago, by an estimation. Okay. Okay. Does anybody else want to break into the singing uh, The Age of Aquarius when you hear that? Yeah. That... <laughs> <laughs> that okay? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe Sandhorn would. <laughs> okay. Um, what sort Got Matt of time... <laughs> Sorry. What, what sort of time is it? Um, so it was in the evening when you, as you said, bamfed over. So it's going to be a few hours you probably would have been right. there. So it's probably quite late at night now. Okay, I will head back through a teleport portal to Yata then. Okay, to the pub. So the rest of you have handed, the rest of you here have uh, headed to the Wink and Kiss and found quite a boisterous tavern in the middle of Yata. Oh, this won't do. I imagine by this point, Zanhorn's probably halfway through a set, like <laughs> <laughs> obviously pay, uh, playing playing his socks off. 
Um, yeah, in fact, you um, you find yourself actually struggling. You're in competition with several bards, minstrels, and other performers. Um, give us a performance skill check, Mr. Cage. Sandhorn's doing pretty good tonight. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> it's not long before you arrived, before Sandhorn manages to weasel his way onto the stage somehow. I'm actually and probably just shoves you know one of the other bards off. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me he's having a rap battle. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think he should have to uh, reenact it in five rounds. <laughs> Dueling loops it is. Flutes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not long before uh, he's got the crowd singing along to all his songs and joining in. I need to come up with a few, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> it's um, that new giant slaying song that you've just written that's really got them captivated I've got a great number about Havar <laughs> you think I'm kidding I... <laughs> <laughs> hang on let me dig it out Are you re- have you really written a Havar song <laughs> Possibly. do you know about this Steve <laughs> no I didn't this is new to me <laughs> the really scary thing is it's a love song <laughs> <laughs> Between him and Benjin. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's, oh, God. That'll be the next one. <laughs> Where's it gone? Here we are. <laughs> I once met a man of a military sort, grizzled and grumpy, my initial thought. To judge him on that would be quite unkind. But he'll not take a drink to help him unwind. His name was Harvel Hunt, not Haval. A champion of chance, he's not a narwhal. <laughs> Now our man has a bag of a magical bent. If you're in a scrape, he'll be such a gent. Defending the weak without lifting his sword, he'll he'll yell, come forth patches and lob furry balls. <laughs> his, his name is Haval, not bloody Harval. A champion of chance, he's not an asshole. <laughs> with our paladin friend at the head of your group, a bard right behind with his magical flute, a mighty barbarian to charge through the fray, and our clerical friend to show us the way. So if you have some trouble that you cannot solve, you're in dire straits and the buddies won't fold. Just take a deep breath and prepare to marvel. <laughs> when you shout at the top of your voice, Help, where's Harvel? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be there in a flash with his sword in his hand. He'll cut through yelling, <laughs> uh, death to your war band. A massacred path will quickly unfold. If there's one thing that I have repeatedly told, my name is Haval, not fucking Harval. <laughs> Fling, oh, sorry. <laughs> John, that is amazing. That is... <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. There you go. <laughs> That's what an 18 in performance sounds like, my friends. <laughs> 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 so, so Zanhorn sings his little ditty, and by the end of it, the entire tavern are going Harvel, Harvel, Harvel. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Man. <sighs> Just as Senza walks in and goes, "What the?" F-? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh, that is outstanding! That is outstanding! I have to come up with some more for the other members of the party as time goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so, what next? and that's the end of the game. Yeah, we're not going to stop that tonight, guys. Where do I go from there? Really? So we're in the bar. What sort of people around us? Um, a bit, basically a bit of everyone. It's an extremely popular tavern. Um, as I said, you've got a you've got a particularly raucous crowd now after uh, <laughs> after Zanhorn's performance. Um, you've got boat workers. You've got um, general dogs bodies. You can see um, lords and ladies. You can see merchants. It's kind of, it is kind of like a central tavern. Um, it's absolutely bustling in there with different people. Right. 
Is there somewhere quiet in a corner for me to sit down? <laughs> you, you, can fi- you can find a corner. I'd like but... hang your head in shame. <laughs> yeah. There's somewhere I can kind of hide. It's not long before you, you... There's no real place to kind of hide. and It's not long before everyone's kind of like slapping you on the back and buying your drinks. Um, That's which is <laughs> kind of... <laughs> Not vaguely. I, ass- I assume they're not buying me water or milk. And no, no. The, 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 you've had several um, glasses of wine placed on the desk and, and on the table, and several tankards of beer brought for you. Mm, that's just a waste, really, isn't it? <laughs> I don't <Benjamin>. think it is. <laughs> Benjamin ah. to the rescue. <laughs> Benjamin, come clean up. <laughs> I'll, I'll knock back a couple of wines, grab a couple of tankards, and I'm going to find the the like the. Is there like a big bastard in there somewhere that I can just sit down? And it's it's arm wrestling this... time, I reckon. Cause... <laughs> There's a particularly burly looking dwarf. Right. Who, it's like as soon as you come over, it's like so. Do ye want an arm wrestle above the table or have a drinking competition you see who ends up under the table? <laughs> <laughs> ye look like the type. Why not both? <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, right then. How much are we it... in? What are you betting? Don't, don't, please don't. It's not a competition if we don't bet. Uh, Well, whose idea was it to have a shared kitty? Who? I'm not doing this out the shared kitty. I'll do this out my own. (laughs) There's not a lot in the shared kitty yet, anyway. (laughs) That's not true. (laughs) No, okay. I don't know what's in it yet then. What do you say to five gold wage? Yeah. Five gold. For the drinking competition and five gold for the uh, arm wrestling competition. Year on. So. I imagine they're like arm wrestling, like with one hand and then well, like rows down, down in the other. <laughs> it's, it's mugs of ale because the, the dwarf's yes. like, you have a man, go do it like a dwarf and drink all tankers of ale. So. With my mug of tea. <laughs> It's empty. She's and I've got, got your one tablets. I'm doing the other one. So, can you do a? Uh, we'll do. We'll do. We'll do it in three. Okay. So you've got to do a Constitution check to stay in control from drinking the beer, a Strength right. Athletics check, and then another Constitution check. And we'll do opposed rolls. Right. So it's checks. It's skills. So, so I do, need to do what's right. Do a Constitution uh, one to begin with. Uh. I see who yeah. can hold your beer. Oh, do I just click on Constitution? Or yeah, is that... just, just click on Constitution on the left hand side. On, on the skill. left hand side, right. Yep. Sorry. Oh no, on the skill or just on the uh, normal bit on the left? On your stats. On the stats, right? Okay, yep. Great. Uh, ba, 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 da, there we go. Okay. Oh, hang on. You've got hang advantage on, I don't know turned on. Yeah, six. Six. <laughs> <laughs> The DC is probably quite low on the first pint, though, right? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I had the same thing turned on as well. So he got 18. So, so that the was first the drinking, beers. is it? That was, the first, that, was, that was the first part of drinking, and you can feel, ooh, this, 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 this Yatari was a bit stronger than you were expecting. I shouldn't have down really... the two wines beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> so then it's time for the arm wrestle. So strength athletics check. Okay. So that's a skill check. 15. 16. He just, just, just pushes your arm down. Oh, has he won that round? Yeah, he got 16. Oh, right. He got 15. It's the oh, I thought we got like full way, halfway. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. I'm going to say. All in one, is it? Do, right. Okay. I'm going to do a constitution check, a strength check, and another constitution check. So he's ah, right. currently That's won two. So right. this is the last one. Are you actually going to be able to stay above the table, or is the dwarf going to out drink you? Right. So, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, as everyone's watching this and 
Zan Horn is, is is also trying to get all the crowd riled up. There seems to be some side bets going on as well. It's right. unclear at this point whether uh, Benjin collapses because he's drunk and he passes out, or the chair underneath him gives way. But either, either way, it just seems just boom on the floor with a crash. And there's a big cheer from the rest of the crowd. Is that that's not it over, is it? Yeah, that's I thought it was over. like best of three rounds. I oh, thought that was one round. No, oh, no, that's 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 your three. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> right, ten gold down then, aren't I? And 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 your reputation. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, ninety-four. So you're on the floor. You're dizzy as hell, and you can just see this dwarf standing over you. Puts his arm out to lift you up, and goes and hoists you up off the ground, and goes, "Ah, you did well, lad." You're almost, if you're a bit shorter, well, if you're a three foot shorter, you'd make a damn good dwarf. <laughs> I'll sort of snap him, punch him on the shoulder, but in a kind of jesty kind of way. <laughs> Without saying anything, and walk back and mind sweep another one off of our shaking my head, but kind of laughing because I've had quite a lot to drink. <clears throat> So, Senza arrives at this point <laughs> <laughs> and finds, well, basically, Benjin is practically, well, that kind of like, I'm perfectly upright, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. So, so everyone, I look at Benjin and kind of think, I could lesser restoration him, <laughs> but the hangover might be a good object lesson. <laughs> So I'll just go sit down with Haval, steal a wine, and read the book. Please yes, tell me Haval's got some groupies around him. Haval's got <laughs> lots of... Yeah, Haval by this point has attracted quite a bit of attention. Um, a, a lot of the uh, female persuasion as well. There seems to be uh, quite a few admirers asking about his daring deeds. You're muted, Rory. You, you, you meet your Rory. Is my room ready yet? Can I? Is it, is, <laughs> is it too early to retire. <laughs> uh, so when sensor arrives, yes, your room is uh, ready. So uh, you can retire if you so I'm wish. Politely excuse myself from um, the, all these um, lovely, kind people and uh, bid them a good night. Uh, a good soldier is uh, always best in the dawn. <laughs> okay. So. You head off for a night's kip and wake up the following morning. Benjamin's head might be a little sore. <laughs> you can't see him because he's on the floor at the moment. <laughs> so you all come down for breakfast the following morning and find Benjamin basically still on the tap room floor. <laughs> basically hugging the mangy old uh, tavern dog. <laughs> 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 I see. I see. It wasn't just Haval who got some attention last night, Benjamin. As I give him a kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Good morning, Benjamin. I don't I, uh... taste anything unusual in my mouth, do I? Um, nothing. Well, <laughs> what's unusual for Benjamin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's unusual for him? Uh, yeah, your mouth's a bit like the Anorak de desert at the moment. Yeah. You know, uh... <laughs> oh. That were a good night. That was yes, a good do, night. Do, do you remember when you lost a drinking contest to a dwarf? Don't forget the we arm wrestling contest. For a while. And the, and the arm wrestling contest, of course. No, you're right. We wouldn't... We wouldn't Those bring, dwarfs are strong. We wouldn't dream of bringing that up at every possible opportunity in every no, pub no. with a new song. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to look at... I was just going to look in your... That's not going in a song. Of course oh, it's yeah. not. It's going in a song. It's going in a song. <laughs> cool. Oh dear! Could I tell whether it's a male or a female barbarian? Uh, sorry, dwarf. Um, dwarf. Oh, it's definitely a male dwarf. All oh, right. I'll say they don't say... have they don't have the kind of Lord of the Rings thing where where even the women have beards in this. Oh, do they not? Oh, I presume no, no, they no. were bearded, ladies. 
No. In, in Forgotten Realms, they're quite distinctive. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll say to Senza, we didn't really get a chance to catch up last night, what with all the um, excitement. Uh, so yes. how did it go in Neverwinter? What did we find? Um, not a great deal, unfortunately. It seems like everything from the Age of Astoria is about 30,000 years old, so makes it a bit tricky to pass knowledge on down that far, though we're doing our best. Um, didn't find out anything we didn't really already know, I'm afraid. Um, plenty of books, though. <laughs> Can I put them in the bag of holding there a little bit heavy? <laughs> yeah, of course, and I'll offer up the um, the entrance to the bag yeah. in the bag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so where where are we going from here? Are we going... To deliver these horse saddles? Well, we have a we have a duty to do so, yes. And then I think uh, we should make all haste to go see our friend uh, Fergalas. Indeed. Yeah. First stop, Nonas. Next step, Everland. And if we can see what we can see in Everland, there's a lot of Harpers there. They can hopefully point us in the right direction as far as finding our dear friend. Is Evelyn part of the Evermores? It's to the east of the Evermores. Okay. Because we, we don't know exactly where Fergalas is, do we? He's in a... Is it a no, he was in Lina Mal, which was he we know is heading towards the Evermores. Right. So, yeah, Zanhorn will say, um, I was under the impression that, well, we spoke to someone in Yatar, and they seem to say that the Evermores are huge, that they haven't seen a floating castle around. So I figured if we head in the direction of uh, Noanar, drop the saddles off and then head along the side, we're, we're basically skirting the Evermores on our way to Everland. So either we'll see the castle and be able to do something about it, or we'll get to Everland and there's a good chance we'll be able to find a bit more information over there. Absolutely. And uh, okay, so are they, is the Evermores, are they, is it, is it quite hilly terrain? I'm just thinking with, with Benjin's um, increased visual range, would he be able to see a good distance across the Evermores? Or? The Evermores is basically a giant swamp kind of moorland. Mm -hmm. So it's it's swampy, it's moorlandish. It's he, he... so pretty flat then, at least as well. Yeah, um, the chat. You know, uh, tell you what, do a history check. Oh, hang on. I've got a sleeping baby in my arm. It's... Oh, sorry. Check quietly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do a history test. That's a death save. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm doing this all cack <laughs> What's it? Oh, Stand by. Oh, you... <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> right. Um, all you know really about the Evermores is it is, um, as I said, this kind of swampy Moorish land and uh, it's known to be quite dangerous, which is why most people don't go round it rather than through it, basically. Mm -hmm. It's basically a load of... Um, it's, it's no, you, uh, you'll know that visibility isn't much because it's known to be quite foggy. Right. But you would think okay. a castle floating above it might be visible, right? <laughs> Being up and out of the fog. <laughs> Well, you have to see through the fog, though, don't you? You can see over it, right? But not if you're in it. Floating, yeah, but from the side, walking along <laughs> the Evermore so Way. Okay. Yeah, no. That was Zanhorn's I, I, logic. I, I'm all for trying it. <laughs> okay. Any of you guys need some provisions before we headed off? This this is Marley. She's asleep. Hi, Marley. Hello, Hello fifth member to be. <laughs> okay. I, I can I can now use my my mouse and my, my <laughs> rolls and stuff now. <laughs> okay, chaps. So, what's the plan? So we've dropped the cart here. Uh, dropped are, are the, we dropped the um the bit of the Vonin Dodd here in Yatar. Yes. So we get on the cart and head in the direction of Nona. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're heading to the Calling Horns and then to Nona's Hold, yep? Yeah? yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so 
at a, at a normal pace again? I would say so. Yeah. I'll say so again. Yeah. And when we're not on, are we on high alert? I remember that we were on high alert previously. We'll definitely be keeping a, a watch, looking for pinch points or areas mm. where, you know, we might have to worry about bandits because we do have the means to pass without trace where necessary. Mm. So, so you're just basically going to follow the Evermore way to the Calling Horns, uh, go a little bit further than that, and then head south. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I think the one way we can do this is if everyone makes a perception check to represent um, what you kind of see. Sandhorn is super Ooh. looking out. <laughs> yes, I have a keen eye okay. on the road. I'm reading a book. <laughs> Sandhorn's just staring around, like looking for inspiration for the next song. <laughs> So, uh, the first few days kind of um, sort of passes really without much um, of, of interest. You kind of follow the path along the Deserin River for some I'm time. I'm going to be us as we go if this is number of days. Be, yeah, uh, so every, every time I'll stop like it that. a day, it's going to be like one, two, three, three and a half days before you get to the calling horns. So, can you ping uh, that on the map? Because I don't really so know where we are there at the moment. Yeah, oh, the calling I'm horns. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to so go the... to Noanar's Hold, which is there, right? To Everland, which is up there, right? Oh, wow, okay. So, um, about halfway through the second day, you meet, um, coming the other way, you meet, uh, you notice uh, coming along the road is uh, an individual on horseback who seems to be wearing heavy armor, followed by um, another individual who isn't armored on a more kind of heavily laden horse, but smaller horse, like a almost like, almost like a pack horse, basically. Um, you notice them quite far ahead, of, so you've got plenty of chance to do take any action if you so wish. And you seem to have noticed them before they've noticed you. I'll nudge the guys and be like, fellas, there's uh, folks up ahead. You muted, Ben. Can I take a close look at them? You can um, you can see it's basically um, a, a person appears. in heavy <laughs> no, no, a badger a badger appears, yes. You, you can don't see that know they how are... important that badger is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see that it appears to be someone uh, riding a horse in heavy armor, um, and then it appears to be some kind of assistant because the person on, uh, is wearing it driving is riding quite. A, a, large horse it could even be a war horse what you think right. and then the other horse is kind of like a as i said it's got loads of packs and stuff on it so it obviously it's carrying somebody's equipment but the front one is definitely armored and ready to go whereas the other one is almost like it almost looks like a knight and a squire from where you are basically oh right okay <clears throat> so i feed that back to any can any distinguish um, not really that you can make out. No, the if there's a shield, they're heading kind of towards you, so you can't see any shields or emblems. On oh, the right, okay. Like All right. Cool. Just, I'll um, feed that back to them. Depending on so how I open like the front of the, the cart is. Uh, oh, it's an open cart. It's, it's just like a... Yeah, yeah. So It's it's, it's like the uh, Forgotten Realms version of a pickup truck, this thing is. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> so I think Zanhorn will ready his crossbow just so it's there on his lap. Just, just in case. <coughs> but aside from that, I probably don't. I don't think he'd do anything different than that. Okay. So, the, this, this, these two horse, these two riders keep approaching you, and once you see they see you, they see that the the lead person on the larger horse gives a wave of greeting. Uh, um, wave back. Yep. Stand up and wave so we can see us clearly. Hail and well met. Ah, well met. Good to see someone on the road at last. It has been quiet. What takes mm. you across the Evermores? 
<sighs> I don't go across the Evermores. Sorry. Around. Skirt around them. <laughs> around them, yes. It takes a brave man to go into the Evermores, I must admit. Uh, heading, British... heading to Yatar myself, just yourselves. Uh, just come from Yatar as it happens. So you can see he's a kind of heavy set man wearing heavy armour, and whereas the person behind him is a youngish lad, probably about 16, who seems to be carrying like everything. You can see he's got camping <laughs> equipment, cooking equipment, everything is on him. Whereas the main guy in the armour is just him, his armour, and his rather large horse. That's... Does he remind me of the story ballad, The Sword in the Stone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, from his armour, is it is it well maintained? Is it highly polished, or is it yeah. is it or is it yeah. being used? It, it's been used. There's a couple of um, nicks in it and dents, but this person has also looked after it. You okay. can see that it's been cleaned, it's been polished, all the joints have been uh, sufficiently oiled. Okay. This is someone who... I'm quite impressed it, by this, then. Yeah, you, you are, I'm, yeah. It's, a man it's, who knows to take care of his armour is, is a mm. good man in my books. Okay. Tell me, friend, uh, why why travel in such uh, such attire? Are you, are you expecting trouble? <laughs> I'm always ready for trouble, me. <laughs> good man. Good I bet man. you've got some good stories. <laughs> Sunhorn yes. puts down the crossbow and reaches for his notebook. <laughs> <laughs> always do, always do. This is a bit of an odd question, but you haven't seen a, cla a castle floating above the Evermores anywhere, have you? <sighs> Can't say that I have. That kind of thing would have uh, caught my attention pretty soon. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, Possible to see next to anything in that bloody place. Lots mm. forsaken it is. You're not intended on going in there, are you? Well, well we believe we, we one of our a... friends may have been kidnapped and being yes. held hostage in such a place. So at some point it may become inevitable to do so. Duty bound, you see, uh, this friend of ours, he, he saved my life. I owe him at least an attempt in return. And if it means travelling across... That wasteland, well, that's something I'll gladly do. Well, I might be heading there myself soon, unfortunately. Oh. I don't suppose you've come across any trolls, have you, in your travels? Not recently. <laughs> no, not, not in the last few days, at least. Um, no. Yeah, we, further south, we encountered a number, actually. Uh, cave trolls and the like. The type that... Were they trolls or were they ogres? I kept calling them trolls, I know that. <laughs> I yeah, think they might I'm have been ogres. Sure. <laughs> I thought they were ogres. <laughs> uh, I've just come from the calling horns. So I'm having a bit of a problem with um, trolls raiding the place, place coming out of, it, of the Evermores. Oh, really? Well, Most that's, peculiar. That is obviously, that's our next stop, actually. Um they need assistance, or are they, have all these trolls been taken care of now? I mean, you look like a very capable man. I've uh, I've taken care of a few, but I'm trying to work out if I can see where they're coming from. But I want to just wanted to scout the edges of the Evermores first before I headed in. Well, understood. We have business in Nernars. Once we're dealt with that, our business takes us towards the Evermores. So if you're still around, and the calling horns in. About three days' time, I would guess. Uh, make an insight check. Is this John? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, I um, well. Calling Horns is named after the inn. If you find anything about these trolls, just let some news on in the Calling Horns Inn. Um, can I can I give uh, Senza uh, a, a, a nod, a look? So, so when you, you do the, the whispery, talky thing to him, is that is that doable? I can do. He, okay, he, Channel yeah. Divinity. I read his mind. Okay, oh, I attempt to at least. <laughs> So you have to make a wisdom save. A wisdom save, okay. This is DC 15. D6. 
DC 15 wisdom save. So that is basically just one of them. Yay! <laughs> Seven. So uh, you can read it surface forts. So um, surface forts are basically bugger. They don't seem to have seen these bloody trolls. I'm going to have to go into the Evermores after all. A bit worried about a floating castle, mind you. That could be bother. <laughs> oh. This right grieve is getting a bit squeaky. <laughs> hey, I have to get the boy to grease it. What the devil are they going to no one's hold for? No, no one else hold for bloody weirdos. Oh, well, good luck to them. Hope they don't uh, get get killed by the horsemen. Never mind, eh? They look like they can handle themselves. And I end it there. Why don't you tell us about no one has hold? Everything you know. <laughs> it gives you a kind of look that kind of just goes the, 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 now you can read his mind it, it, it's like strange chap <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I end it at that suggestion so he tells me everything oh right Suggestion? Uh, not, is... can he not tell that you've suggested him afterwards possibly <laughs> oh well we'll find out <laughs> <laughs> oh it fails no it fails to save automatically it, it automatically fails yeah yeah, okay. So what's I, my... I, I think it's mine. I can tell him to do whatever I like. <laughs> <laughs> Newness Hold. Mm, yes. Not a place for a holy man to go. There's, um... I've heard the rumours are true about that place. What Sorry? are the rumours in Newness Hold? Well, they say 200 years ago it was a hunting lodge. Once you lodge for the uh, the high forest, and it's, a, it's um, obtained some wealth with wealthy visitors from cities such as Silvery Moon and Neverwinter, heading there to hunt all manner of beasts and game in the high forest. But they say the place was ruled by five hunting lords, five horsemen, and. Um, It seems they to they uh, attracted some more dangerous hunts, should we say? Anything could be hunted: beasts, monsters, your fellow hunting guests. Anything you wanted, these uh, huntsmen could arrange for you, should we say? Well, the rumours got out, and um, people with any kind of decency stopped going there. But funnily enough, this place still prospered. Suggesting that the rumours may have been true, but that was 200 years ago. Now the place is... Um, well, it's still a hunting town, but uh, the stories are these hunt lords sold their soul to some form of demon and now rule the place at night as evil horsemen. So if you do go there, don't go out at night, basically. That's the only time engines awake. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's I mean, awake, the demons are nothing angry. to be worried about. I'm, I'm sure the walls between realities are absolutely fine. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for your fr uh, your information, friend. Um, if we see any of these trolls, we'll be certain to leave note for you. Um, and uh, if I may recommend the uh, that what was the name of that pub we stayed in, chaps? The wink and the kiss. I would recommend uh, staying at the Wink and the Kiss. Uh, tell them that um, Haval sent you. You'll be warmly received. Ah, thank you, sir. And he, 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 crutch, he, he gives you like a, a like a military handshake, grabbing your your arm <laughs> and right. giving you. Thank you, sir. Um, oh, hold there, friend. What was your name? Sorry. Ah, Sir Christoph Goslin. Sir Christoph Goslin. Uh, the Goslin House. Uh, I I, I mm. served with a few of them. <laughs> um, we just call him the boy <laughs> pointing at the squire <laughs> look at the young lad who's looks very weird, weird, world weary already <laughs> well if you ever need uh, need help when things look dire <laughs> the champions <laughs> of chance be sure to come to your aid oh, keep that in mind Should it rhyme, do you think? It really should, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you were already thinking that as you were saying. 
fine. I'll add that to the list of things that Zanhor needs to come up with. <laughs> we we do too much for free. It should have been the champions of chance always for hire. <laughs> Zanhor's not really got that. <laughs> he doesn't really care so much about the money. It's mostly that everyone knows about us. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Well and met, with sir. That, he, um, he goes, well met, and uh, may the gods guide you. Happy hunting. And he heads off um, westly towards Yata. He seemed like a nice chap. He did seem like a nice bloke. He? he did, but can I suggest we make haste? I, I read his mind and made him tell us that stuff about Noah and Arsold. <laughs> I guess he kind of wasn't going to tell us willingly. He seemed like a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> the one nice person we bump into the road, bump into on the road, and you turn him into an enemy. <laughs> and with that, Zanhorn will be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Look, I, it's a new. Look, I'm not, I don't know how to use it yet. I don't ge- genuinely know if people know I've been reading their minds, but I guess it may not go over too well. I'm sure it's fine." <laughs> Anyway, no one else hey. old sounds like a lovely place. We'll go and hide yeah. there. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to turn to the others as if I'm like two days behind and just look at them as if like I'm carrying on a conversation <laughs> two days ago and just go, why didn't I rage when I was arm wrestling that <laughs> war? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck's sake. I could just picture like that... Like sensors grumbling, and then the laughter from the rest of us as Benjamin realised that as the ch- the cart gradually <laughs> trundles off towards. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have another day of uh, journeying uh, without um, any issue, and it is about mid morning by the time your cart trundles into co- the calling horns of uh, the. So that's one, two. Three. It's on the fourth day, mid morning of the fourth day, you head into the calling horns. Okay. So it's basically calling horns is kind of one of those towns that's kind of built up on a crossroads. So uh, it meets this uh, a road heading south, which is the Juntars Pass, which heads for the Desarin Hills. And of course, you're on Evermore's Way. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, a, it's a little kind of crossroads town it's mostly the calling horns tavern which is kind of the, the main building there and then lots of kind of support so stables and you know iron munger to re re horse horses that kind of thing mm-hmm. how uh, how long is it going to take us to get to nona's hold from here uh well it's it's one two three four it's probably going to take another day and a half okay so should we stop here now oh i forgot to say as well uh, interesting an interesting bit of local information um the crossroads itself is marked by a cairn of uh, lichen covered orc skulls hmm. okay do we does, do we know why uh you can make a history check see if you can remember can i get in on that yeah 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 <laughs> sandhorn's not sure <laughs> Boom, that's more like it. <laughs> so, Zenza recalls that um, long ago, although much, much of the details have been forgotten, there was a battle against an orc, a horde of rampaging orcs that was fought at this point, and this is what is left of the horde. Served as both a trophy and a warning. Oh, very interesting. Okay, I'm going to take a quick sketch of it. Anyone need to stop? Or should we just keep going? Well, there is this troll business, but then um, if we leave now, do I do it? Does that midday you say now? Yeah, it's it's, it's about mid morning, so about half 10, 11. So if we leave leave straight away, we don't even bother stopping. We'll get to Nona's Hold in the morning, which means we won't be arriving at the night when these huntsmen arrive. Is that right? Um, you should get to so yeah. Um, you'll get to if you leave now. You'll get to know us hold around about lunchtime, about midday. But if we left in the morning, if you left in the morning, you get to know us hold at last thing at night. So, which is when the huntsmen are going to be around. Maybe you seem awfully paranoid about this, Saval. 
<laughs> I'm is, just. When has anything bad ever happened to us? Because oh, I'm right, just yeah. thinking <laughs> if the people here do need a spot of help, but if there are five demonic horsemen at the next location, we might want to be ready for that. Be ready for that, yes, and just 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 get to it. We can get there. We can get to Nono's hold. We can deliver the goods. We can rest up, prepare, kill some demon horses, and then come back and deal with some trolls. Trolls after the demon horses. Yeah. Unless anybody feels they need to warm up. Zanhorn looks at him like, I'm always warm. <laughs> I'm ready. The champions are ready. Starts limbering up. <laughs> <laughs> like doing some really awkward lunges in his... Uh... <laughs> And his Bardi Lycra. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, he, whatever the equivalent is in Theron. <laughs> two, two burpees and he's already tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, that, <clears throat> that's me warm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I think we should just carry on. I think so as well. Is that a horn, Ben, Jim? We could just right. check whether they've heard of a cloud castle. Okay, let's no. just, let's, just, yeah, let's have a, a quick check and let them know that we'll, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back in a bit. Yeah. Because there's problems. Let's go through via the high street. We can see what, yeah. if there's shops, taverns, anything, events, anything catches our eye. Yeah, we just so keep an eye open as we go through the town. Okay. Looking for the most so, central pub. Well, yeah. So the majority of the village is um, just simple log cottages. Uh, Simple, the simple bark shingled rooftops, and the Callings Horn Inn is stands out a mile away. Um, for starters, it's a, it's the only field stone structure in <laughs> in the area. It's obviously a tavern. It's obviously got adjoining stables, and it's also on a little ridge that overlooks the kind of junction in the road. Mm. So you can't miss this place at all. Um. So I take your heading in, are you? Yeah. Uh, how do we do? We see many people on the way to the, the pub. Um, there's, there's, yeah, there's plenty of people around. There's a little bit of um business. You, you it just, you're just off the Desert River as well. So you see people that obviously look like barge rights and things like that, which have popped in to grab supplies and things like that. And so what's the, what's the kind of mood of the townsfolk? The people um, they seem, they seem pretty normal, pretty content. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. So when we get to the pub, I imagine Zanhon will chuck the reins to someone and just just quickly jump in and see. Like, I don't know whether the other guys follow, but <clears throat> just jump no, in. Benjamin needs see. to help me um, look at the axle on this wagon here. Oh. <laughs> I, Benjamin, you, uh, my strong friend, can you just lift it up so I can... Don't just lift up the... Zanhon will wink oh. at him. As lift he... up the car. <laughs> <laughs> And he'll just d duck into the pub and uh, and try and find a barman to... Well, they always know stuff, right? So, yeah, What's you, wrong you... with it? What's wrong with the axle? <laughs> <laughs> Sandhorn will smile as he enters the pub, like hearing, <laughs> hearing Benjamin's confusion. <laughs> so you head into the tavern. It's quite a large tavern. Uh, it's quite a large um, kind of common area. There's the odd pe people in there, you know, getting food ready, but it's relatively quiet at this point in time, so it doesn't take long to find um, a server to grab their attention. So I'll, I'll grab the barkeep and say, uh, uh, "Hail and well met." So you're met by um, this kind of old but sprightly woman with white hair. She goes, oh, "Well met. What can I do you for?" We're just passing through, but I imagine we'll be back in fairly soon. Um, we just wondered if we could uh, trouble you for a little bit of information, and I'll just um, place a silver piece on the bar key, on the bar t on the bar top. She takes a silver piece and go. Um, what can I be assistance with? This is a bit of an odd request, but you haven't seen any floating castles head across towards the Evermore. Or she looks at you a bit funny and goes. I think I'd remember something like that. <laughs> I imagine you probably would. But um, if you do hear any tales along those lines, um, we'll be probably back in a few days' time. It would be, 
we'd be very grateful to hear any news along those lines. If you can keep your ear out for it. Uh, will do, young squire. Very good. We, And he's about to walk away and like, while I'm here, we heard some rumours about some trolls or something nearby. Hmm. That'd be true. We've had um, one or two trolls wander into the village in the middle of the night. Quite unusual. They usually keep themselves themselves at the Evermores. Do did they take stuff or food? They seem to be after food. Interesting. Hmm. You're a fur troll. <laughs> nasty buggers aren't they yeah I mean they die well but they do, mm. they do take a bit of a beating that they do that they do <clears throat> Sound Horn will like uh, just dust his top of his rapier a little bit no trouble for the champions of chance of course she nods at you aye right <laughs> <laughs> and with that not seeing any of the sarcasm Sound Horn will turn around and leave the bar <laughs> 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 and I'll relay what she said to uh, to the other guys. Okay. So Benjamin, you see um, Zanhorn return after you'd been fiddling with the cat for a little bit. <laughs> oh, turns out it was nothing. Um, you muted. Oh. <laughs> Benjamin, you muted. <laughs> It turns out it was nothing. It was um, my imagination. I thought I felt something oh, okay. off with the wheels. How <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <That was. laughs> oh, Always happy to help. <laughs> Sound on a wink at Haval again. <laughs> Did you get one of them two pint carryouts? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they were out of beer. Sorry, Benjamin. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll, look out, we'll look out in no notes. I'm sure there'll be some beer Fair over enough. there. Sorry. Or if not, demon horses to play. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you camp out. So you get to the junction between the road on the Everwell Way and Nirinus Hold on the, the end of the day. And then heading off the following morning, you get Nirinus oh. Hold. Sorry. Oh, I was going to put the tent up. Well you put the tent up? I've got the, giant, the tent off the giant. I'll put the tent up <laughs> so we can all stay nicely overnight and make a little fire. I'll take the tent down now because obviously nothing happens <laughs> overnight. So, yeah. There we go. Should have kept that tiny hut. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit close in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Benjamin. It's all the food I've been hunting for you. That's it. It's quite gamey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So we arrive at Nona's Hold, you say? Yes, you arrive at Nona's Hold. So it is um, basically a small village on the very edge of the forest. And. Um, you knew you were in the kind of the kind of village section, and the path continues into the forest and up um, a slope. Um, the village itself is not much there; it's just a handful of houses and a um, basically a tavern in the middle of town, and that's basically it. Where are we delivering one of these goods to? Zanhorn look at him like, well, I thought you knew. <laughs> uh, uh, we've got the shipping label here somewhere, I think. You you haven't filed it? <laughs> I, 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 well, that is to say... Is, so... um... <laughs> it's going to take us a week to get back there to find out where we're supposed to put it. <laughs> I thought that's what shipping companies did. They get there, go back to find out where they're actually delivering it to, then come back to the place. We're, so we're hold a look at the other right guys place. like, this looks close enough. I mean, we could just drop it here, right? 
<laughs> uh, somebody, somebody make an intelligence check. <laughs> oh, dear. Senza. Uh, Senza. <laughs> well, <laughs> Zanhorn. Turns out Zanhorn yeah. was just kidding before. <laughs> Zanhorn remembers that he's, he was supposed to be handing it to Amrath Molnabar, who is the castellan of Nuenar's hold. Amrath. Amrath Mulnabar. That doesn't ring a bell. No. I don't think you ask to be fair not. when you got <laughs> the job. Who is the what of It's the castellan of Nuenas Hold. Nuenas Hold. <laughs> and, and where uh, would one look for a castellan? In a castle. <laughs> 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 No, really. <laughs> no one asks um, hold. Suggests there's mm -hmm. a hold of some sort, right? Yes. So all we can see so far is uh, houses and uh, the pub, right? Yes. So why don't we head to the pub, find out where we'd find the castle in Noah Nor? Because they always know at the pub. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. You head into what is, what once would have been a grand building. You can tell this was many years ago. A um, it's the the White Hart Inn. That, that's clear labelled, but the same sign has become faded and kind of weather worn. Um, the bricks of the place don't look their best, and you can tell at some point this was probably some grand tavern welcoming people to the town. But now it looks kind of well past its best. Um, as I said, it's about midday. You head in there. Um, in the actual kind of um, the main tap room of the, the or lounge of the tavern, you can see the kind of serving staff there. But most notably, you notice uh, three particularly well dressed gentlemen who seem to be kind of getting getting kicked together and discussing about whether they should and, and having some kind of discussions. Which all appear to be about. Unfortunately, they were very, very, very drunk. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't quite make out what they're saying from the, from where you are at the moment. Okay. Um, who is, do you want to go talk to? Is there a barkeep? Uh, there is. Yes. Let's head to them first, I think. Okay, um, you are... you are you are met by um, a a short man who is dressed quite um, Quite well, quite tidily, and you actually notice that even though the outside of the place looked a bit well past its prime, everything inside it was quite rough. He's the only member of staff anywhere to be seen. Oh, hello, good to meet you. Welcome to the White Hart Inn. I may be of assistance. Good morning. It's uh, nice to meet some friendly, some friendly folk. We're um... oh, oh, over the top of you. One, one of the three men at the table are discussing. He goes. Ah, barkeep, we'll have a bottle of brandy to take with us as well. Uh, very well, sir. It gives a nod and a bottle of brandy just kind of lifts itself out the air and levitates across towards them and lands on the table. Uh, hey, excellent brandy. Ah, more. Yes, as we got, that'll, that'll warm the spirits on the hunt. Most impressive. Who are the, uh, who are the gentlemen? Ah, um, nobles, sir, from uh, from Neverwinter, I believe. Well, I say I believe they have uh, informed me several times. <laughs> ah, yes, I know the sort. And ah, I wink. Yes. I wink. I read their minds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know if they're, from, they're actually from Neverwinter. My curiosity is now peaked. Okay, there are three of them. Um, which one are you going to read the mind of? Uh, whichever so, one is being the most bolshy and loudest. 
Uh, the most bolshy and loudest. Uh, okay. So what is it? It's a wisdom check again, isn't wisdom it? Wisdom save. Wisdom save. DC 15. DC 15. Okay. No! So what happens if they if you if they fail? Um it doesn't say. I think it just fails. What's the spell? It's not it's channel divinity. Uh, you scroll up in the chat, it's just there. Yeah, it is still it's, it's just uh, like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And you won't be able to use it again until you finish the long rest now. Okay. On it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm, I can do it twice. Mm. No, I'm gonna. No, I won't. Sandhorn will spot sends a staring quite intently at one of the gentlemen's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just no, Jim. Just like stop fucking reading their minds. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> uh, and then I'll turn back to the barkeep and say, um, "We've got a delivery of uh, what was the delivery for? <laughs> harnesses, horse harnesses." <laughs> Uh, I see. Where would we find... Um, God, I can't read my own notes. Uh, Amrath Mulnabar. Ah, uh, you want to um, head up to the keep then? Uh, well, really, we'd just like to hand the harnesses off here and continue. But um, yes, that is who we need to deliver these to. So where would we find the keep? If you um, carry on, if you follow the road and carry on the, the hill, um, then uh, you, you'll get to the keep. It won't take long to find. Oh, great. Um, a word of warning. <laughs> he looks very confused. <laughs> yeah, would, uh, he, just, um, he just wants to go back and watch cartoons now. That's <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Met the champions of chance again. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, a friendly word of warning, sir. I would suggest if you do intend to do so, um, please make it. I'd recommend you're here before nightfall. Uh, we do have rooms available, they are competitive rates. That is that's good to know. Uh, but yes, if you wish to speak to um, Amrath, um, you can find him at the keep. He's uh he's easy to find just knock on the main gate and you'll find him thanks very much anything else we should be wary of heading up the trail there we heard some rumors about some horsemen oh don't, don't, don't worry about that as that it's just as long as you're here before nightfall everything will be fine so right and on the off chance we're not here before nightfall um, then make haste to get here by nightfall <laughs> would be my recommendation okay <laughs> <laughs> well we should probably stop wasting time and then go and get this stuff delivered right chaps <clears throat> absolutely I, I agree um, do we know what those those three blokes are doing no <laughs> don't read their minds <laughs> <laughs> so as as you have um, as you um Having this conversation, you can see they're they're finishing, kind of packing up, and they they they're basically heading out of the tavern about the same time you are. Um, so one of them kind of notices you and um, gives you a nod and goes, oh, "Good day to you, sir." Good day to you. Um, Good day to you, too, sir. I take it you're off on a hunt, then, gents. Ah, uh, yes. May I ask yeah, what indeed. you're hunting? Uh, my friend Benjin here is a prize hunter. Barbarian, uh, an expert tracker. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see what we can find out in the. Um, we can. See, we, we're hoping to find some very big game. Just ha! Very good, very good, very good. <laughs> yeah, um, is it like large chickens? I look a bit confused at this. At this comment. Um, I don't know what he means. Says one of them. 
Uh, that's, it's all right. It's all right. It, 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 it's all right. I, I've got this, Martha. No, um, we have been heard there are um, giants afoot in the region, and so we are going to hunt a giant. Ah, giants. Yeah. Uh, you mm. happen to be uh, talking to the right band of fellows here, then. Very fortuitous. Indeed. Well, we felled yeah. a number of giants ourselves. Mm. Ah, excellent. Um, the, the other two you can notice, it's, I, I kind of don't really want to kind of speak. They seem to be just trying to, you can, they're almost turning their back to you and, and saddling up their horses ready. Mm. And then you look back and go, sir. Sorry, I apologize, my brothers. They can be my miserable at times. That's quite all right. Any, any hints or tip? If you're able to train a rat to <laughs> climb up inside their undergarments and... Um, I think what my friend is trying to say is distraction is key. Yeah, it's, it's the T figure. <laughs> Keep them distracted. C. And focus on one at a time. If you can, if you can separate them... Trying to take mm. on more than one giant is a tough ask, even for a band of very mm. intrepid adventurers. Making them depressed works well as well, apparently. Uh, yes, yes. Attacking from multiple angles, um, obviously, um, is a good one. The, if you can, if you can get the Achilles, you know, the the back, the heel, um, mm. that that helps. And don't okay. forget the old uh, tying the rope round the legs trick, hey, Havar? Of course, yes, the rope round the legs, uh, they, when they're not expecting it. Once they're down, it takes them a long time to get back up again. Um, and they can't do so very easily uh, and fend you off. So um, that, 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 that one worked. If you can trip them, do that. Uh, so, but make sure they, they fall away from you. Um, of course, yes. So as, you, as you're doing this, the other two have already kind of mounted up and ready to go, and they go... Um, Come on, Ranthal. Stop talking to the riffraff. Let's get this over and done with, shall we? Riffraff. Um, <laughs> do any of you know any magic by any chance? Because, um, or have any, how should we say, uh, very useful items of equipment on your person? Because between us, we have we have a few tricks up our sleeves, and uh, it took every single one of them to uh, to best every giant we fought. So one of the ones on the horse, just the one who's told the other one to hurry up, just goes, Chris, we know we are well equipped with the finest weapons that Neverwinter can provide. Come on, Raval. And Do I, I recognise the names it ran far? Or... Uh, make a history check. The name Ranfal seems vaguely familiar, and you do know there is the uh, Dire of Derevos family, which has three brothers, and there is a Ranthal Derevos, so it could be him. Okay. Um, can I kind of eye up the clothes they're wearing of a decent quality? Oh, yes, yes. Fine. Look like my family's make? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just introduce myself. Um, Senator Iquil, you may be acquainted with my family. Um, do you believe we supply the highest quality clothing in Neverwinter? To which the guy on the horse just goes, yes, yes, whatever, whatever. Come on, Ranthal, come on. These giants won't kill themselves. <laughs> and which the, the, two, the, two, the, two of them, the two of them gallop off into the woods. And to which the one says, oh, good day to you, mounts his horse and rides after them. As he's riding off, like, if you get really stuck and it doesn't look good, just shout for the champions of chance. <laughs> it's something that rhymes with good. Yeah. Good. good. Well, for these bunch of pricks, we'll just kind of slowly take our time over there, I suppose. Yeah. Um, sending, send a message back to my parents. Oh, yes. Hello, mother. Send her uh, here. Um, just encountered Ranfold de Rivos. <laughs> Next order, plus 50%. Please. <laughs> Get your dick. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> We're not petty, the champions of chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're getting thinking there. of someone else, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not interested. <laughs> so with that, I'll, I'll look at the other guys like, so to the keep, I guess. To the keep. To the keep. Most and back before nightfall. <laughs> I missed a bit. Can we stay at the keep? Uh, 
they recommended that we get back to the inn here by nightfall. Okay. They were quite clear about the by nightfall bit. They mentioned by <laughs> nightfall several times. So by nightfall, yeah. I think we should get back by nightfall. Yeah. Right. Because because we're just delivering a package. Would you let DPD like share your bunk bed? <laughs> <laughs> if he came round at ten o'clock at night. Uh, well, well, if he sang me a song and played the flute about me, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we'll see, shall we? <laughs> right. Okay. Let's okay. Go. So we'll keep right. our ears open for the sounds of gentry being murdered on the off chance that we can go and save them. But um, <laughs> we'll head up the, the hill towards the, uh, the keep. So you head up the hill, and the hill is further into the woods. And it's actually about an hour's journey from the village before you finally get to something that's vaguely approaching your clearing. And there's this kind of decrepit old keep. Um, just kind of on what would have been at some point a marvelously fortified position. Uh, but it's basically almost completely in forest now. I mean, it's so decrepit. There is a, there is a main gate. In fact, I'm going to do, do that. I don't know if this is going to work. Because I don't know what you can see. Well. Hopefully so. So you should be able to see something. Okay. Yes. Scroll on the left. Yeah. Always worries me when he's got a location prepared. <laughs> <laughs> this is this oh, is more me wow. playing with tools, basically. So I don't know what you can see at this point, which is quite annoying. Uh, look at the Twitch feed; you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, I think you can see, like, centered on us, a clearing of in the fog of war. Yeah, sort of a figure yeah. of eight, almost. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Does this take into account the uh, extra range? Uh, that the um, Senza and Zanhorn can see, because you guys can see like 60 feet, can't you? Yes. So this, oh, is, currently darkness, so. this is currently set for darkness, right? Just because I'm um, still playing. Just tink tink tinkering with it a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, well, I don't have dark vision, but okay. So those that with that those of you with dark vision. Oh, no, hang on. What about my oh, I don't... eagle eyes? I don't think that affected your dark vision, if I remember right. Additionally, additionally, dim light doesn't impose disadvantage on your wisdom slash perception checks. Oh. So that sounds like pseudo dark. It's, it wouldn't work in pitch black, but it sounds like it's if there's dim light, then I can see okay. Hmm. Yeah, I've got what looks like bright light out to 45 feet, then dim light out to 60 feet. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. So if we move us, if we just grab ourselves some ourselves off the map. Oh, oh I see. Oh, right. That's cool. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, but it stays lit up. When you walk back, it stays Ooh. lit up, so it doesn't sort of go and stay. So I can see a bit more. Yeah. It's oh, going to be interesting okay. to see. The feed's only going to see what Zanhorn feeds. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So I can see out to 15 feet. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to be 20 feet. So but what I've got... Oh, so I've got 15 I've got... feet bright and then another another five feet uh, dim. Yeah, which I is think. white. See. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's got that halo sort of around it. Okay. What you should be able to see at the moment is... Yeah. Right. <clears throat> I don't know if that's right or not, but it looks cool. Is there anyone manning the gate? No, so what you can see at the moment is you can see where um, this is the kind of like area in front of you where coaches would have come in originally, mm -hmm. and you can see um, there would have some <laughs> been some kind of statue in the middle, kind of just here. Um, no, I can't see any of that that you're saying. No, I can literally. <laughs> I stop pinging at the moment, which is a bit weird. Zanhorn will bring the cart a bit closer. <laughs> there is that. Can you guys see that? I think yeah. this web statue is. No, that's out. Yeah, I can see the ping, but that's outside of my our vision. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Now that someone's moved, yeah. Yeah. Interestingly, um, roll twenty is really struggling for me at the moment. Yeah, it's really slow for me, but I can see um, Ben Jim's halo. Hmm. 
Okay. Sorry? I, I can see your cone of vision. Yeah. My cone of vision? Yeah, as in yeah. I can see it's, what... It's what highlighted what you can like. see. Your little nubbin on the side of our enormous <laughs> yeah. range of vision. <laughs> Why, can you guys not... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting confused here. So I can see a bright circle around me and a bright circle around Haval. Exactly, yeah. 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 But I can't see you guys at all. Right, as I said, I've got it set up for darkness at the moment because I was tinkering with this. <laughs> and so um, I guessed that you and Haval will be carrying torches whereas Sensor and Zanhorn would be relying on their dark vision. In fact, that, I wouldn't like the torch without oh, I see. thinking about it, but yeah. <laughs> so me and Haval can only see what our torch is holding. Yeah. yeah. But we can't tell what the other guys are seeing. No, no. But they can no, tell I... what we're seeing because we're shining a light. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is compli- right. Okay. Okay. Right. So anyway, said, it's t- still daylight, right? <laughs> it's still daylight. <laughs> yeah, so yes, yeah, so it shouldn't be that bad. But this is this is me tinkering with it. Is, it is dim light at yeah. the, around you because there is this there's this kind of canopy of trees. Mm-hmm. Okay. Blocking out a lot of the light. But as you can see, I don't know if it's I don't know if the yeah, there's a ping there, so you can see some steps leading up to what appears to be the main entrance. Right. Oh yes, just, no, no. yeah. Oh, literally, you guys have now appeared. I, I can like it even hides your sim. I can't. Oh, sim. Oh, and oh, it doesn't open up the inside either. Sorry, it doesn't um, show you the inside for me either. Same. Clever. Okay, so unless someone comes out to greet us, which I'm guessing they don't. No, no, there's no sign of anything at this point. Uh, I'll look at the guys and be like, well, I guess we knock then. I'll, um, Benjamin's going to pull his fingers out and whistle. <laughs> I'll just keep the cart running, right? <laughs> just <laughs> just in case. <laughs> keep the horse warm. That's it. You're okay. muted again, Rory. Sorry, I was talking about putting a baby to bed. Um, can I, I'm going to use my divine mm-hmm. If there's any kind of evil presence around, it should resonate as a smell. Yeah. Me. Okay. Um... Although we are around Benjin, so. <laughs> I, I, I should be able to distinguish between Benjin evil. stench and evil smell. <laughs> what's, what's I had a wash five days ago. What are you on about? <laughs> In beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, hang on. Wasn't that when we had the rainstorm? Oh, yeah, it might have been. <laughs> uh, what's the range of it, Rory? Uh, oh, strong range to like, the amount of the powerful good. Till the end of my next turn, I know the location of any 60, uh, 60 feet. feet. Okay. So, uh, any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Okay. So, the, the, there's a faint whiff of something. Faint whiff. Mm. Okay. Sit uh, in the air. There's a. Can't I quite get, get a, a bead on it, but yeah. It also lets you do um, anything which has been consecrated or desecrated. Oh, okay. If that makes a difference. So has has anything within the sixty feet been uh, consecrated or desecrated? Then, please. Uh, no. No, not not within the sixty feet of me. Great. Um, Okay, guys, there's there's something ill afoot here. Mm. <laughs> what makes you think that of all? <laughs> Sound will roll his eyes. <laughs> is, that, is someone going to knock or what? <laughs> Let me knock. <laughs> there's no immediate answer. I'm knock again. But after a <laughs> Um, after about a, a minute, a little hatch opens at a height of about four feet, and these two eyes look out the hatch at you. We what do you want? We, we have a delivery for Araman Mandibar. My, my writing's not very clear. <laughs> Amrath Mulnabar, Zan on a shout from the cover. <laughs> The, Cast- okay. the Castilia of uh, of Nonar, please. We're from Tribor. Delivery. What's the delivery? 
Horses harnesses. Show him. I'll throw it around in a box behind me and lift one up. See? How many are there? <laughs> how, how many How many horse harnesses are in the box, please, Dunhorn? Five. Uh, oh. Five. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look at these magical horse harnesses. <laughs> What? Zanhorn's just looking at the guys like, why are they all face bumming? <laughs> so where do you want them? Yeah. You can see he's trying to peer through the little like, hole. All you can basically see is some eyes and some hairy eyebrows at this point. It's like, I'm draft. We've travelled a very long and way. To as, as you're saying this, the, the peephole kind of slams shut. And then you can hear some bolts. Uh, being manoeuvred behind the door and the door creaks open. I hope this bloody works. <laughs> hey! Excuse me. <laughs> Pe- peering in, you can see um, what would have been at some time a grand entrance hall to the hunting lodge. And you can just make out in the dim light that's inside, which you know, just, there's no natural light and there's no uh, there's, there's no torches lit inside, but you can just make out there would have been tapestries on the wall, but they're all starting to go rotten and old. Um, in front of you, opening the door, is a, an elderly looking and miserable looking dwarf. <laughs> and you can just see snoozing behind him uh, a couple of large dogs that kind of prick their ears up when uh, he opens the door. Put them there, he says. And points um, in the middle of the hall. Zanhorn will pick them up, like trot on over, and uh, I guess let's just try that. Ooh. No. And drop yeah. them in the middle of the hall. Uh, just, just here. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he kind of waits until you drop them. He pops, pops, pops over to him and kind of shuffles over. Lifts him up and kind of looks him into what light is just streamed in. Mm, 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 gives him a tug, looks at all the metal work on him, puts it back down to the box, and then walks back to the door and holds holding the door. Um there is a there is the issue of our payment for the delivery. Pull, pulls out a small patch of coins and counts out some coins. I'll hold my hand out for them. Drop drops a pile of coins in your hand. Does it look like about a hundred GP? Yeah, there's a hundred gold pieces there. Okay, I'll drop that in my satchel, and uh, so we say, uh, "Champions of Chance Delivery Service, you're welcome." Uh, Don't forget to get a signature. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great if we had a piece of paper to sign on, Senza. Oh, <laughs> uh, here you go. I'll uh, I'll hand it to hand a quill and the paper to him. Uh, signature, please. He just puts a cross on it and ha- and, ha- and thrusts it back in your hand. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, back to the safety of the inn, eh, gents? <laughs> uh, is this is this sense of evil I'm getting any stronger now that it's open? Uh, so where are you? I'm I'm now just I'm in the doorway. I'm here. Yeah, you can. There's, there's, a, there's a stronger whiff inside coming from inside the place. And and can I tell what type of whiff it is? Was it I can detect a fiend or undead or a celestial? You're getting a whiff of. You're getting this, this, this a slightly stronger hint of undead coming from the place. But it's not. It's not in the room you're in. It's just the general place has got a, a whiff of undead to it. Are I'm you are you coming with us, Haval? <laughs> I'm gonna turn to the guys. We um we can't leave here yet. There is oh, a duty for us to perform. I just no. mouth undead. Yeah, <laughs> undead. I'll I'll mouth no. back. Legendary heroics. <laughs> Legendary heroics. <laughs> Whatever is in here is not good, and I have. Are you not finished? 
Shut your face, you ugly little man. We're talking. Uh, you're, you're, out, you're outside, don't you? Then, then he shuts the door and bolts it again. <laughs> oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Can we break this door down? Well, come on. There are better ways of opening a door if you really want it opened. Uh, I do have the thieves tools. That's an option. But failing that, we'd have something that will definitely work. Um, didn't we use that? Didn't we use, we no, use got one of the ten charges? Ah. So we can just pop this door open. Okay, so I think whatever's in there is not good. It's not good for anyone. And I'm not terrible. Fergalas is our friend, but there is there is evil in there. You know, and, I hate to say it, but Felgalas did sound like he was in pain from what from what Sansa had said. And whilst there probably is some bad stuff here, I get the impression it's probably been bad for a while, and it'll probably still be bad if we came back to it after we'd rescued <laughs> our friend who's in trouble. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for some new story material. <laughs> well, how about... How about, what about you uh, roll your furry balls, throw a patch, hold a quick, uh, what is it, 10 minute. I'm having brain phase, what's the word? Are we yeah, going to drone control a patch? Yeah, what about, um, we just take go, or we, could just, or we could just walk around the outside of the building, around the outside of it. And if there's a way in, we could send in a little patch. You know, if we try to send in a little patch, we'll get me out. I'll yeah, get, I'll get, I'll get elks and direwolves. Yes. <laughs> well, then that leads to Plan B, I guess. But <laughs> <laughs> well, Plan B, Plan B is we go back to the tavern and we try and create a direwolf, and I still radio control it. In no, no, no. If I if, out. if patches an elk and a couple of direwolves, we're going in, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Sandhorn will look at the fading light and just be like, oh, God, here we go. Again. No, no, okay. okay. <laughs> you, no, I think, Zanhorn, I think you're right. Fergalas needs us. Uh, he's defenceless. and But once Fergalas is sorted and safe, we come back here. Yeah. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm not going to sleep well knowing uh, what's down there. It okay. Sounds, it sounds like a plan. Okay. Can I cast Detect Evil and Good, which is basically the same thing as um, Divine Sense, but within 30 feet and 10 minute concentration, and just have a wander around the outside? Okay. See, just see if I can pick up whereabouts it is. Sandhorn okay. will make a show of very slowly putting things back on the cart. <laughs> Yeah, our sense is wandering around. <laughs> like even by his expertise, this is stretching. Yeah. How he could make this look like yeah. a performance of putting this stuff back in. <clears throat> Benjamin will pick up the cart and go. Is that wheel? All right, again. <laughs> <laughs> you said the wheel. There was something wrong with the wheel. Very um, good. We'll both get Benj out and have a look underneath it and start <laughs> nudging Actually, things. Is there anything that we could use to bar the door from the outside to stop anything inside getting out through the door? Um, poss there's, there's some some bits of broken masonry and that kind of thing, but the door opened inwards. But if we <laughs> pulled it all up in front of the door... Yeah, true. Then this side, so they're going to open the door onto a wall of brickwork. Um, Senza, you're getting. So, okay. what, what, what exactly does does the detect evil give you then? Um, it's it's basically exactly the same as divine sense, just within thirty feet. Okay, so you're not getting the um the kind of you're not getting you're getting something there, but this looks this area here looks like it was some kind of chapel at some point. Right, and you're getting something Sorry. from that area. So I'm kind of picking up the fact it was consecrated at some point. Yeah. Uh, okay, what's, oh. it, what's it tell you? Uh, da, 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 the creature's like, I think you can go to this place. 
Why is it consecrated? Desecrated. Um, you can sense this area centered around here has been desecrated at some point. The sense around here. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't. Um, yeah, something kind of behind that wall there. Not seeing a ping. Oh, sorry. So, see that? Can you see that ping there? Ah, uh, uh, I see a ping. I, I've just thought that was me ping. ping. I can't see you uh, pinging anything. Oh, uh, that's weird. Okay, that's. Uh, I wonder if this will work then. Is it near? Tell me which queue number it's near. Uh, if you go, um, if you go down four squares. Yeah. It's directly east of that, uh, west of there. Right, so it's... So you, you can see a bit of light coming in from the window there. For, yeah, yeah, somewhere in that, that area there is desecrated, yeah. Right, very okay. much in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't see any of that. That's just blackness. Right, so I'm... Just loading up the cart very slowly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ben, Benjin, let's go look for some big rocks and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. At least, at least when that obnoxious little dwarf opens the door, he might get crushed as well. <laughs> so if he um, blacked so out, we'll build it really down, badly. Like big it falls in. Sorry, what was that, Paul? So uh, the yeah blacked out bit on my screen actually now looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I get back and help Zanhorn finish uploading, and I'm say the south side of the keep is all in ruins. It looks like it's open to the ground. There's a chapel around the back which has been desecrated. It's very dry, was that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's really dry around there. Very dry. Right, yeah. Dry as a bone, you might say. Uh, yes, mm. <laughs> I see. Still, okay. it is getting dark, right? So uh... let's yes. let's let's, go. let's make haste. Mm. Uh... <laughs> okay, so off you go back to the uh, back down into the village. Mm -hmm. For now. Okay. For now. For now. So with your um, lurking around and such like, it is late afternoon when you get back to the village. Thank heavens. Okay. So we could potentially be on our way out of here and look off towards the Evermores. Um, Sandhorn says, looking at the other chaps. Yeah, let's not waste any more time. No. So are we heading towards, where's the nearest uh, Harper point? Do I, was the one at Calling Horns? No, no. The, in Yata and Everland. <laughs> Flipping it, that's a long way away. Yeah. It's unfortunate that Nonar's Hold is almost exactly in the centre of Yata and Everland. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's going to take us, what, best part of a week to get to Everland? That's if we don't have any more distractions. Yeah, but at least we can be scouting to try and f spot Felgalas on the way. Yes, okay. Let's do that then. I can send him messages as well. That's to try and good, get some intel. That's a good call. We should send him another message and say we're skirting the Evermores. We're searching for the yeah. for Lin Armal. Any information he can give us would help us get to him sooner. Yeah. So I say, the Falculus, hold fast on the outskirts of the Evermores, searching for Lin Armal. Any geez, intelligence you can provide would be useful. Stay strong. We're coming. Just twenty five exactly. Um. 
So you, the reply you get back is kind of pains, and most of the twenty-five words are screamings. Um, but you, the, the only words that kind of get through it are kind of castle above the clouds. We'll need to fly. Tricky. Mm. <clears throat> the harbors okay. will be able to help us out, surely. I'll be back in a minute. It's worth the game. Yeah. Um, okay. Right, Evelyn. Is it is it worth us picking up our pace a little bit? So uh, before you manage to actually leave the town of No and No and us hold. As you're just kind of passing through, you notice um, the only other people you see are two people on horseback kind of lethargically heading back into town. You kind of don't pay them any heed to begin with, but as they uh, get noticed, you notice that these are two of the three uh, nobles you met earlier. I guess we'll, like, wave... Uh... But these the the two impatient ones or the other one uh yes they're the two impatient ones the two who didn't speak to you we'll wave to them on our way past and uh good hunting where's ranthal do they kind of look at you and kind of um try and ignore you and try and look the other way my friend they just asked you a question where is your brother um, they both kind of look at each other and say to the other that um, uh, we were attacked by a giant just inside the just inside the, the, the woods my brother was stuck by a, my brother here and points at um, the, the other one was struck by a spiked great club whereas my poor brother Ranthal did not make it is he is he He's dead. Is he dead? They both look at each other again and he goes, he nods. Yes. And for watching the old Ranthal didn't make it. I'm sorry for your loss. Mm. Can I, will they let me get close enough to do a medicine check on his arm? Uh, yes. They don't, they don't seem, once you start showing some concern, they don't seem too bothered whether they seem caged in the way they talk. Um, but um, once you notice you're doing that, um, okay. he gladly takes in. You notice there is a there is a gash on uh, one of those arms, and basically his his thing is uh, clothes have been ripped. Um, but you can't quite make out what caused the wound. Okay, um, I clean clean it up, bandage it as best I can. Okay. You strike me as men of means. If that's the case, you know, death needn't be as permanent as it would be for someone of a, a lower stature. If one had the body. Mm, again, they both look at each other and um, share a glance and said, no, no, it, 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 it's not what he would have wanted. I understand that. Um, do we get any sense um, that they're telling the truth here? Uh, make an insight check. <laughs> mm. As far as you can tell, they're um, they're being perfectly honest. Show off. Zanhorn, however, <laughs> these fuckers are lying to their back teeth. <laughs> There is something they are not telling you, and you are convinced that they are lying at this point. Gentlemen, I have no quarry with you, quarrel with you, but if there's a chance that your brother could be saved, if he's in trouble, if there's there's something you're not telling us, isn't there? We are professional adventurers. We've saved many towns, even cities, from onslaughts of giants. If there is indeed something foul afoot, perhaps we could save your brother. Please don't let your pride. The one who was looking was looking forlorn uh, and hasn't really said much to you the entire 
the entire few days, pipes up this punch. Just keep your nose out of it, will you? This is family business. It's nothing to do with you. Um, do I do I get the sense that Zanhorn knows they're lying? Or <laughs> 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 I still just go. Let's well, go. I have Come just on. I have just said that they're clearly keeping something from us. So, look, it's... why don't you um? Why don't you show us where this giant uh, attacked you? Um, let's see if we can track it, and together, the six of us, we can we can seek vengeance for your brother. What say you, men? And at this point, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the reins of one of the horses, and uh, we're all just gonna turn around. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna read the mind of the guy he smacked. Uh, okay. So... so yeah, wisdom saving throw. Ten. Yeah. So which which one is it? Is it the one? Is oh, it the chatty one with the wound, or the the other one who's being quiet? The one who's just smacked at Zanhorn and told him to... The one that had been quiet previously. The one that yeah. had been quiet. Um, so all you can hear is, keep your beaks out, you filthy commoners. We don't want, we don't want um, anyone finding out that we killed him. This is our inheritance, inheritance at stake for crying out loud. Oh. So by this point, the rest of us are gradually leading them towards the, or trying to lead yeah. them towards the forest. Yeah. To... Um, they they're quite reluctant to lead back. It's like no, 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 no. We're the, the one, the talkative one is like no, no, no. We need to, we need a night's rest before we venture out. That um, the, the giants will still be there tomorrow. It's we 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 a good night's rest and uh, we stock on some brandy and we'll be fine. We can go there tomorrow. I won't hear anything of it. And the the guy with the injured arm, I'm going to put my hand over the wound and give it a bit of a squeeze. Um, and I'm going to say, remember my, my friend here, the, the barbarian, expert tracker, um, Benjin, um, it's best if we go while the tracks are fresh, am I right? Make an intimidation check. Definitely. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, he just stops. He pulls on the reins and pulls tight. He goes, look, what do you want? I want to know where your brother is. I want to know what happened. And I want vengeance for whatever or whoever killed him. Look, right, he's dead, okay? Do you need to know any more? And then you can hit and, and Paul, how long does your um, read minds last? Eight. Oh, the actual reading minds last a minute, but I... okay. So you're still at the end of this, and you can hear him. Uh, you can hear him say, <laughs> you hear the voice kind of shouting out, "Don't tell them he we killed him. Don't tell them we killed him. Don't tell them we killed him." <laughs> <laughs> and suggestion time. Okay. Why don't you tell us what happened to your brother? <laughs> At which point he pipes up and goes, "We killed him, all right." <laughs> <laughs> his brother go, his, his brother turns and goes, "Idiot!" And um, just how much inheritance are you now looking to get? And again, the one who'd been quiet to your suggestion goes, ten thousand gold pieces." <laughs> you know, for, so, for temple of knowledge in Neverwinter. It really could do with a donation to help rebuild. Are we aware that this is going on? Or is this all kind of internal? No, no, you can hear oh, no, this is out loud him. now. You can hear him suddenly shout out loud, 10,000 gold pieces! Okay, um, so I've got this guy's arm. I'm going to wrench him from his horse. Okay, make a strength athletics check. Strength athletics check. <laughs> Smash. Is the other guy on a horse as well? Yeah, get him, Benjamin. Get him. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna like grab his leg and um, try and yank him off the well. So you do the same. Strength. Cool. Sorry, I just got to refind it after my tea break. Strength athletics. So uh, that will do. Um, so who you rolled first there? So uh, you've got nineteen and fourteen. Yeah. So. 
Um, this is Havals. Not down miles. 17, today. and this is Benjins. 17. So, Haval, you managed to pull this guy off the horse and knock him prone on the ground. Mm -hmm. Benjin, he just kind of just tugs the horse and pulls the horse out of the way before you can grab him quickly enough. Right. Um, I think you have to roll for initiative now, gents. Oh. oh, oh, oh. I'm, okay. I'm not going to do a combat map. How do I... Oh, you're going to need tokens, aren't you? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, i tell you what, if we go to that, we can do something a bit cheaty. <laughs> Click on there and do your... Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> ah, double digits! Why is that not working for me? I agree with the ball, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't I'm know, clicking ben. on initiative and it's click on your character. You attempted first. to roll click on your you character att... first, Ben. <clears throat> oh, right. Yeah, click on your token. Go. Oh yeah. I'm rolling all f today. Uh... Oh my god, I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my dice roll gone? Uh, there we go. So I missed a little bit while I went to go and get a drink. How many? Two. There's two of them. Two, two of them. That's yeah. what you asked. So that they've they've taken their brother off into the woods and killed him to get right. their brother's get inheritance. Their, get the inheritance. Yeah. Um, yeah, got that bit. That doesn't really sit very well with me at all. No. Um, so let's uh, let's let's take him before some sort of judge. I don't think that would sit very well with any of us, would it? No. 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 Particularly, my flaw is a, my flaw as a character, because I was looking over this earlier, is a, I have little time, respect, or mercy for those that show a lack of honour. Mm. Killing your brother is pretty yeah. unhonourable. Yeah. We've killed people for good reason. Oh, and I place no stock in wealthy or well-mannered. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and Zanhorn's chaotic. I'm going to so, absolutely detest them. Yeah. So, not really a great fan of people who step on the little person, no matter mm. even if they were mm. posh to start with. At least he seems reasonable. You know, he was not. He spoke to us, wasn't he? Yeah, exactly. He listened to us. We had a little chat with him. Okay, Senza, you got the initiative. What are you doing? I have got the initiative. Um... How far away are they? You're about 10 feet away at the very most. Okay. Old question. Mm -hmm. How much of our language does a horse understand? <laughs> Yay, giddy up. Stop eating all the carrots, Boris. Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, Boris. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cast command on the horse and say halt. Right. Okay. Great work. Great work. <laughs> uh, it's got to make a wisdom saving for DC 15. Oh, the horse is going to do a wisdom saving. Where's yeah. The, where's the wisdom of the horse? <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured that was easier than doing it on them. And more importantly, it's more frustrating for Steve, so... <laughs> 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 oh dear. I mean, it could have been worse. I could have tried to read the horse's mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grass. <laughs> Stop kicking me. <laughs> um, where the hell are horses? <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's just do one of them. And let's just say that failed, shall we? It seems likely. Yay. <clears throat> Has it wisdom of 11 oh. for a draft horse? Yeah, a war horse has got a plus one. Yeah, they're not war horses. They're riding <laughs> horses, but I can't find bloody riding horses. <laughs> no, it's under something stupid, I think. Mem memory. Wisdom 11, Steve. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's failed. Yes. Draft horse, that'll do. Yeah, wisdom 11. So horse is quite wise. <laughs> We've learned here. It's wiser than Sandhorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so that's your action, Zanhorn. What? Well, uh, so the horse has stopped, right? Yes. Then. Then they, then they haven't attacked us yet. Is that right? Yeah. It's all in initiative order. So we've got one on the floor, one on the horse, which has just stopped. All right. And they're going to go after Zamhorn. Right. I think my chances of actually being able to uh, affect him off his horse is probably unlikely. So on the off chance that they're about to, uh, to oh. try and hit one of us. Oh, we've, I've just lost all the turn order. Yeah, we've just moved to a different screen, Steve. So, oh, is that changed? Does that not? If you just you know, if you press the no. uh, thing, does it not come back? No, I, my turn, the turn order, turn order thing is still on the screen, but there's now nothing on it. Oh, yeah, we're right. back. Now we're back. okay, yeah. fair enough. That's interesting. It's linked to your map, fair enough. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you remember this, Steve, but Zanhorn, when he was on the ship in the painting, acquired some silver manacles. Yes, he did. <laughs> which he never got rid of. So, <laughs> I would like to try and clap some manacles around the foot of the one that's still on the horse. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm going to treat that as a grapple, <laughs> which you can certainly try. <laughs> Um, uh, what do I roll for that? I, I, I need to look that up a quick second because uh, I can't remember. I think you have to make a strength check oh, great. in order to grab his leg. Uh, Make a strength athletics check. Contested against their either strength or uh, dexterity. It wouldn't be a dexterity check because I'm trying to... No, because you've got to grab their leg and hold it still to get the shackle around it. Okay. Give it a shot. I am. I am. They have got to roll first. <laughs> and Zanhorn actually just broken the manacle. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Screenshot. Right. Um, as you go to grab the leg, he moves it out of the way quickly and swings the leg up and kicks you in the face. <laughs> So you're going to take D6. You're going to take D4 damage. <laughs> there you go. Take two points of damage as the nose kicks you square in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he probably just drops the manacles on the floor like, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> So the one that's on the ground stands up because <laughs> uh, he was prone and the one that's on the horse tries to get the horse to go <laughs> but it's just not doing anything. <laughs> when he realises he's not going to do anything he grabs his rapier and he takes a swipe at uh, Zanhorn because Zanhorn's probably closest. So I knew I should have just mocked him viciously. <laughs> And misses by a country mile. <laughs> okay, so Benjin. Uh, Benjin. So we've got one. We've got on one the... standing on the floor next to his horse, and one on the on his horse, trying to get the horse to go while wildly swinging his rapier at San Juan. Oh, all right. Okay. So, but one's off the horse. So we want to get this guy off. His... Oh no, it isn't get going anywhere. Is it? Yeah. All right. Um, if I swung at him, sorry, if I swung at him with a sword and I hit Shamel, would that also knock him off the horse? Would I have to you, say, is it one or t'other? I attack him while he's on the You can say you were trying to attack him to try and knock him off the horse. Right. Uh, so, yeah. So, te te you. yeah, technically, you're either, you're either attacking to damage or you're attacking to damage. It'll just knock right. Him off I'll try and get him off the horse then, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. so again, okay. you make a um, make a, a grapple check as well. So it's strength athletics. So hang on, strength athletics. Um, okay. Oh, for Christ's <laughs> sake! I rolled a one. I am just rolling. The, <laughs> the ones are strong with us this, this day. Yeah, you ro you rolled a one, but you added six to it, which got you seven. He rolled a four. Yeah. You basically just clothesline him straight off the horse. Right. He's now prone on the ground. Nice. Okay. Haval. Haval. Um, I um. I'm gonna do. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna put my. Oh, he's, he's on. The, he's stood up again, hasn't he? Now. Yeah. So, so the, the the guy, one guy is prone on the ground, and one guy has stood up, and that's all he's done. And the one, the one that I kind of pulled off, has stood yes, back up. I stood up. So yes. Yeah. Enough against him. <laughs> so, um, with my sword in my hand, um, um, put, um, <laughs> surrender, and I will show you mercy. Mercy you did not show your brother. Surrender, and I will not kill you. But if you make one move, I will kill you where you stand. Uh, make an intimidation check. Mm -hmm. oh. I was pretty intimidating earlier and I did just pull him off a horse yeah okay I'll give you advantage then go on I should... to roll again and see what you get oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it yeah um, you can see he's about to go to his rapier to defend himself and he kind of just goes like that a wise choice now turn around and let me bind your hands you're coming with us and you'll Which answer to does. authority and then when his uh, brother realizes what's going on he kind of towers Sam, well. Sam still cupping his nose would just be like use the bloody manacles <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you can put the manacles on that one you... gladly I'll do that yeah. very roughly. You might as well have another go at doing it. <laughs> he's he's willing this time. He's uh, he allows you to put the manacles on. <laughs> so I'll I'll say to them, but you'll notice, fine gentlemen, uh, as sarcastically as I can, that these are nothing but the best manacles, pure silver. You understand? Now tell me, where is your brother's body? Your parents will no doubt want to bury their one good son. Our oh, parents are dead, you idiot. Uh, can I punch him in the face? Yeah. Yeah. Is do, the... I, do I roll for anything, or can I just... No, no, I just assume that you can punch me in the face. Right, this is this uh, gauntleted... I've still got my gauntlet on, so it's going to... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is the one that's dead the one that was actually talk willing to talk to us in the first place? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Where's your brother? Mm. Uh, about four miles, five miles into the woods. Okay. Stick right. him on the cart. We need to. We need to go. We need to go get this brother. He needs proper burial. Yeah. We'll and, stick and them on the cart, we... manacled. Yeah. Tie them I'd... to the cart. Would yeah. we be able to get the I'm cart into the out. woods? You don't know because you don't know where they're heading. I'll ask them. Is there something we can reach on the cart, or do we need to do it by horse? <laughs> no, you'd have to go by horse or by foot. The cart won't take the trail. Um, Benjamin, are you actually any good at tracking and hunting? Are we going to be able to? <laughs> <laughs> Sound Normally, like yes. Today's role. This is Ben speaking. <laughs> we'll see. Sandhorn's okay. like, you don't need Benjamin. I'm an expert tracker. Come on. When, when I'm not, <laughs> points everyone in the right direction. <laughs> okay, okay. Sandhorn, point to the sky. The sky. <laughs> okay. See, easy. <laughs> what, type of, what time of day is it, Steve? It is uh, mid-afternoon. Quick fire into the woods and then back. We can't, we can't leave a body out in the woods because nah. there'll be, be, nothing, be nothing left of it. Once I've had a rest and switched up my spells, I can do a ritual to preserve it until we can get the body back to civilization. Not your thinking. 
Actually, um, I don't think I am a tracker. What's your... Uh, <laughs> it's all coming out now. It's, it's, it's the outland, the background. I don't think that's tracking, is it? You have an excellent memory for maps and geography. You always no, you, you know your way around the wilderness. And you yes. can get food. And I can get food. Um, I'm not really a tracker. No. Where did we get that from? I, I just I just assumed. Uh, to be fair, I kind of assumed living in the... It's a yeah. combination of your uh, investigation and survival tracking. How oh, is it? Hmm. Right, okay, Why there isn't a tracking skill, I don't know, because that's one that comes up all the time. Survive. So, so uh, yeah, survival I'm good at, investigation, yeah, not so. Yeah, same here. So, okay, chaps, I don't think we can take these guys with us. It's, it's risky enough, uh, us going in there without taking them. I think we need to persuade our friendly barkeep if we can rent a room that we can lock them safely in. While we go and take care Are we of... going to be able to get to the bar, deposit them, and then get back into the woods, get this body, and then get back to the bar before nightfall? We're in town And now, without right? being seen. I thought we were I thought we were on the way to town. You, you're just heading into town when oh, these so we, guys... We, oh, um, we're only just outside town, are we? we, we, we uh, I'm, it's, it, you're actually in town, so you're in the, kind of the town square at this point. Brilliant. So everybody's seen us. There's Thank not you. many people around. It's a quite sleepy little village, to be okay. fair. Fair enough. Okay, we'll do what John said. Uh, Zanhorn said. <laughs> okay. Sorry, so what is it you're doing? So we're going to head to the back to the inn and yeah. discuss with our friendly barkeep that these two have been caught murdering their brother and we we need to go and retrieve his body. It's not uh, it's not the done thing. Is the barkeep going to believe us? We're going we're gonna to pay him. Um, we'll pay him to to hold if he, if needs be if he's not feeling generous in terms of you know wanting the right thing to be done yeah we could pay him for a room to temporarily lock these guys in so i'm going to ask them if before we 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 head that way or on the way i'm, I'm going to ask them if um i'm gonna be like so did you actually try and hunt a giant or was it just a ruse or did you see they, any they, giants they, they nod and they said um the guy just he pipes up and he says our brother ranthal did actually land the killing blow on a giant so you did kill a giant yes oh. um but we got jealous and well we turned on him so you didn't even plan that you didn't plan this in advance you just got jealous because he killed the giant you didn't good first what degree bird sort of <laughs> are Bloody you knobs <laughs> they're nobles jesus um, can we gain them tell us um how will we find your brother's body any distinguishing landmarks anything we need to look for? if you there's a there's a there's a trail heading into the woods. It wouldn't take long to find it, and you should find the giant's tracks. And your brother's body is near the giant. Yes. Smash him. Right. What have we got to gag these guys with? One. Let's gag them, and we're yeah. going to remove any items we find from it. Anything they've got on them. Pat them down. Yeah. Yeah. Pat them down and take it because they had <clears> special <throat> weapons and stuff, didn't they? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have high quality um, rapiers high on them. Yeah. yeah. Rapiers Ooh. to take on a giant idiot. Sandhorn are looking <laughs> about like, like they've got to have had money on them and shit like that. Let's deal with that later. Let's go get this body. Oh, I thought we're getting. Hang on, no, no, we're gagging them. Yeah, just, yes. just, 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 just like a little, a little token. I'm going to pull out two of the giant copper pieces. Do you reckon I could shove one in each one of theirs mouth just as we gag them? <laughs> go, there's your. Uh, there's your. You wanted giant. There's your fucking. There's your giant inheritance. Oh. Yeah, you can put the uh, 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 phone plate right. in there. Yeah, right. I'm yeah, going to knock two giant copper pieces off my list. <laughs> <laughs> Got to find something. Can to I do just have there. a quick look at the tags in their shirts? <laughs> um, That's not even this year's collection. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's all right. I just, you know, I, I don't even know if Benjamin would do that, but Ben certainly wanted to gag with a couple <laughs> we'll, of We'll drag them into the bar and uh, apologising to the barkeeper. Very sorry to do this to you, but uh, these two foul-mouthed idiots have gone and killed their brother. We need someone to stay f- safely store them until we can uh, retrieve their brother's body and bring them to justice. Is there anything that you have a room or a cupboard or something along those lines suitable we could we could hold them in? I, I th- I'm, I'm pretty sure we can hold them in their room. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, securely. Of, of not, course. Not their room. We'll have we'll have we'll take their room. They can have our room. They might have some um very well sir and i'll hand the uh the chap uh, a gold piece and say appreciate your candor no problem sir give him um, more, uh, yeah. so, so where may i ask gentlemen are you heading now if I, if it's not too rude a question we need to retrieve this um this fallen body um, into the woods can't... as quickly as possible and back out again. Okay, he does kind of look out the window and kind of look at the skull and says, um, uh, please hurry back with all haste, gentlemen. Yep, couldn't agree more. Right. Yes. <laughs> we'll shove We're these off. two in the room, grab their horses, grab the horses off the cart and head out. Okay. I've not been making any notes. It's all right. So, um... Got Champions Who Journal. is attempting Champions. to find the trail? Um, so it's, you say it's wisdom. It'll be a survival. It'll be a survival check in order to uh, find the tracks. I imagine all of us would be looking, even if some of us. Yeah, who, who, who's, who's going to be? Oh, okay. Then, if you're all going to be looking, everyone make a. Are you are you taking your time, or are you trying to rush and get in as quickly as possible? Well, um, we, we're looking for uh, an entrance off the trail, aren't we? So. Are we are we saying we're looking for the entrance to the trail? You're looking the track to see you found that you found the trail because they pointed you in the right direction. Mm-hmm. You're looking for the specific tracks to actually work out where they took down this giant now. I think and they said it was with... near sorry. sorry, I said it was near a giant's trail. So can I pop my wings out, fly above the tree line and see if I can see any obvious signs for a giant bites? Say knock down trees, disturb branches, or anything. Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> okay, you find some. Um, you find some kind of broken branches in the odd knocked down tree that would suggest that a giant had headed through this way. Okay. And. I'll so is wait. that enough to kind of steer us in the right that, direction? Yeah, that's um, so the, it was about four miles from the road they would you were told. So that's the first mile ahead you in the right direction. And in the interests of not um, arousing too much suspicion within the woods, I think we probably want to pass without trace. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Plus ten to self stealth checks for the hour. Okay, so. Based on the information you've got off Senza, you fo- follow the, the woodland trail until it comes to this kind of little bit more obvious kind of path of destruction of where a giant would pass through. It's, you don't need to be an expert tracker to see um, <laughs> kind of where giant branches have been snapped. However, of course, it's a trail. So it, it crosses over where you've got. So you've got two routes to go. You can either head um, northeast or southeast. And there's no way. Uh... <laughs> Do either of the trails look fresher than the other one? Uh, would you like to make a? Hang on, hang on. Can I see if I can get a dire wolf or a badger or a rat that all have um, they can they can track by smell? Yeah. Okay. Not an elk. Not an elk. Not an elk. That's a high number. <laughs> hang on. That is a one, two, three, four, five. A panther. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello. 
with a with with a trait of keen smell. The panther has an advantage on wisdom perception checks that are rely yes. on smell. Can Hashtag panther... smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you'd like to make a advantage, a, a survival, a, a, a perception check, sorry, um, at advantage. What's that? Uh, Ooh, twenty. Nice. There you go. Twenty. So you head in the right direction towards the panther. It leads its nose to the ground. It leads, slinks forward and leads the way. As we're trusting on behind it, I'll I'll look at her and like, why didn't you just get one of those out before? Like, what was with the weasels and the? I don't have much choice. This is magic. Magic far beyond anyone's understanding. Even Senzer's had a look at this. He doesn't know how it works. No, they not. <laughs> Fascinating, though. Hmm. Was Steve just rolling dice then? He was. Maybe. But we do Don't have like a plus it. ten to our stealth tracks, our stealth checks, and we can't be tracked except by magical means. So you know, we and, should and be... we've got a panther. Okay, so um, you move forward a bit more in the woods and the panther kind of goes down on its haunches as if it spotted something. And you can just see some movement ahead on the trail. Ooh. Benjamin, what can you see? Benjamin. <laughs> what can I see? Uh, <laughs> make yeah. a perception check, please, Benjamin. He's got his eyes okay. on the hawk. That makes a difference. Eyes yeah. On hawk. Hawk. No, it it, I, I, I think basically I still have to roll perception. Then if I... If Okay. So, uh, if I'm successful, then we get a lot of data. Gotcha. I think that's how it works. Oh! And... Oh! Boom. <laughs> One extreme to the other. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. ahead of you on the trail, and for once not due to a magical bag, you can make it out an elk. <laughs> oh. Make it its way, and it hasn't noticed you yet. Oh. Elks are quite um, uh, so the elks in the uh, Dungeons and Dragons world are they kind of similar to how kind of giant mystical elks were perceived in the real world? They're meant to be. Kind um, of... Some of the elves uh, might do this, uh, and you are in at the edge of a absolutely massive forest, so um, some cultures probably would. They, so they're, they're, they're kind of they're magical creatures. They normally. Um, they foretell kind of the coming of great kings and stuff like that in kind of actual folklore and myth. Ah, it knew we were coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Assume that was for us. <laughs> um, so, um... It hasn't spotted you yet. It just appears to be elking about... <laughs> Elk. Doing what elks do. Um, okay, hold on. Let, I don't think we should attack it. We don't need to attack it. No. We I'm, just, I, I, I'm talking to Ben, really, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, yeah. Ben, <laughs> Benjamin might have a reason to. No, Benjamin, there is no reason to attack an elk. Benjamin. The... <laughs> an, elk, an elk is a barbarian totem thing. And I'm trying to find out what I can get for it, and I don't have the details in front we, of me. We can I all see Benjamin eyeing it up with that kind of greedy look he gets in his eyes, right? <laughs> it's not really greedy. I'm, I'm, I'm planning, planning for the future here. All right, he's yes. suddenly gone quiet. He's thinking about something. That's why I've got an eagle feather when we happen to be near an eagle. Benjamin, I get it. You, you need this for whatever it is you barbarians do, but. We need to find this body and get out before this, nightfall. Yeah. This is not the time to... This is the five horsemen. Well, look, we know there's an elk here now, so we can come back another time yep. for the elk. When we come mm. back and kill uh, whatever that bad stuff is in the keep up yeah. there. We are coming back here to kill the undead stuff. You're going to get to kill demons and hunt an elk. It's on, the, it's on the shit we haven't finished off list, which admittedly is quite a long list now. <laughs> <laughs> But let's let's just leave this one for now. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just we should just proceed. The elk will notice us. 
and it will either if it runs away, it runs away, and if, if it doesn't, then we'll deal with that when Steve decides what it's going to do. We'll approach gently. Gently, yeah, we don't, we don't alarm it. That's okay, so, so you're not you're not trying to be stealthy, so you're hidden, but you're just slowly making your way towards we, yeah. it. Yeah. Although we do have so a plus 10 to our stealth checks. <laughs> so it might be more difficult. So, so you get closer to it than maybe you would have if you weren't using a password trace, but yeah, you're not purposely trying to hide from it, so it does notice you, turns its head, and just bolts further into the forest off the trail okay. and out your way. And then it's not long before you come across a clearing in the woods and you're pretty obviously playing the place you need because there is a dead giant's body sprawled across this clearing and the body of the noble Ranthal that you spoke to earlier today. Okay. So um, I guess you guys are going to want to chop this flipping giant's head off, aren't you? So I'm going to get the body. Well, while we're here. Can I do a medicine check on the body to see how it died? What, the giant uh, or yes. the man? The man. Yes, do medicine. Yes, you can do a medicine check. How dead is he? <laughs> He's dead. Dead, dead Dave. Dead. Um, the oh, killing wound really dead, was okay. a rapier wound. Okay. But he has um, he has fought the giants and was probably weakened by it. But the killing wound was definitely a rapier. Mm. Okay, so I pass that on. Yeah, okay. I'll hack. I'll I'll hack the giant's head off then while um while we're at. Just open the uh, bag of holding up. So I'm gonna. I'll, I'll help the all. Thank you. We'll, 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 put, we'll put the uh, we'll put the body on the on the back of a horse mm. as, as, as gently and as you know decently as we can and keep tight, secure. Just patting down the giant. Is there anything else of value left around here? Um, you notice there is a um, a sack on its belt. Um. In which you find uh, massive copper coins. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Massive silver coins. We're going to get them all. One. No, one massive bronze gong. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like a dinner gong. Like a dinner gong. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull it. I'll pull it out and just be like, "This is an almighty instrument." <laughs> would it fit? Oh, no. Would it fit into the bag of holding? It is a dinner gong, so it's probably about yay big. So yeah. Brilliant. Another this instrument. This is part of your band. band. Why would a giant carry that around to a giant? That would be like a little. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> what type of giant is it? It's a hill giant. You can tell by the fact it's wearing like furs and it's fat. It's a hill giant. Yeah. Okay, Into right. the bag it goes. Anything else? No, that's it. Let's go, guys. Right. Can we go a little bit faster. Yep. So um, we'll you make, make haste. you make haste back to town and you make it uh, back into the um, tavern before nightfall, before the sun sets. It's a very quiet tavern. You have a nice quiet drink by the fire, and you swear you can you at one point hear the galloping of hooves through the centre of town. Ooh. And I think we're gonna stop it there, so we <laughs> think that's a good place to call it a night. What a game. That was yeah. a great session. <laughs> good one. That was brilliant. That was a brilliant start to the year. That was good fun. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I think that went rather well. I'm a bit disappointed. Well, it did for some. Benjin's still <laughs> disappointed on his Got arm wrestling and drinking. Um, a bit don't, of... for, don't forget that time that you couldn't pull someone off a horse as well. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that as well. <laughs> That's why I really pushed those coins. <laughs> Oops. Okay, okay, then. Okay, well, we'll draw this to a close for those of you that have watched. Thanks for joining us. And uh, the Masters of Fate will be back in a week's time, unless something crazy happens, for more uh, Polyhedron Collider D&D action. So until then, see the Masters of Fate in a week and see us in two. See you soon. See you. Bye.